Okay, I'm here with Betsy Case, and Betsy Case was laid off. Betsy, when were you laid off? January 9th of last year. And what were you doing before you were laid off? Uh, I was a uh, county. In a county? Yeah. And did you have health insurance through your employer? Yes. And what happened when you got laid off? Um, everything stopped. You lost but, your insurance. Yeah. So, like in America, you lose your job, you lose your insurance. Yes. And what do you? And how long has it been since you've been to a doctor? A uh, little over a year. And do you have any pr medical problems you've delayed taking care of? High blood pressure. You have high blood pressure, and do you have any medication? No. Because you haven't been to a doctor. Yeah, right so now. You, so your medication ran out. Yeah, and I tried the um, health stores, um, but it doesn't work. And I'm I'm a single mom, so I have to make sure I take care of myself, so I'm around for my son. So. And do you know you have a senator here, Mr. Uh, Lieberman, who seems not to be on the side of the people of Connecticut? What would you want to say to him? He needs to step up. He needs to, you know, think of us instead of his career. Um, that's why he's there. People had trust in him, and he's not following through on anything. And what will happen to someone like you if we don't get health care reform? I'll end up in the hospital getting more medical bills. Um, I was told that if I didn't get help in the next two years, I would end up with a stroke in the hospital. And how old are you? I'm 38. And you were saying before that you need we need health care, not health insurance. That even if you had, tell tell me about your what you were saying about not being able to afford health insurance. I can't. I went through Husky, um, the Charto program, and they were charging $177 a month, and I can't afford that and try to keep my home right now. My home is in foreclosure, so I'm trying to save that. So it's very difficult. You know, you have to choose, and then my son's insurance. So I had to choose him over me. So. It's very difficult. It's very... Should health care be a right in the United States? Yes. And is it currently a right? No. You have to have money. You have to have a job. Even then, they were taking out $55 a week out of my paycheck, which was a lot. So what would you like to say to President Obama about passing legislation that will help you? I think you're on the right track, but I think making it a law is um, <laughs> stupid because you're not keeping in consideration that people are about to lose their homes. Um, nobody's helping out with that. Nobody's. I went through almost since 2008 trying to save my home, and I'm still fighting. So it, it, a lot of things need to happen, but I understand that he walked into a mess. So I'm hoping that it gets sort of sorted out before I lose everything that I worked so hard for. Okay. Thank you, Betsy. Then you're going to get great care here today. Thank you. Thank you.